I want to talk about limits. Limits are a really important concept in calculus. They're in everything in calculus. Let's start with a function, f of x equals x cubed minus 125 over x minus 5. Now you'll notice that this function is not defined at x equals 5, but we can still figure out what happens near x equals 5, and that's what limits are all about. So let's observe, I've, got, I've made a table of values here, and I have the inputs, 4, 4.9, 4.99, 4.999. These inputs are approaching 5. What are the values doing? Well, 61, 73.5 something, 74.8 something. You can see that these outputs are getting closer and closer to, it appears, 75. Now let's see what happens on the other side. So x is coming in towards 5 from the right now. 6, 5.1, 5.01, what's happening to the outputs? 91, 76.51, 75.15, 75.015. You can see that here as well, the values are getting closer to 75. So you can't plug 5 into this function, but you can get as close as you want. And as you get closer and closer to 5, from both sides, the value of the function is approaching 75. So here's what we say. We say that f of x approaches 75 as x approaches 5. Or, another way to write this, and this is the way we'll more commonly express it, the limit as x approaches 5 of f of x is 75.